I mean, where do I begin? There's so much happening and so much breaking every single night, it seems. Here we are on a Friday evening, and you've got these two bombshell reports. What do you make of them? They're garbage. Right? This, the fact that this city is fascinated with garbage is a sad commentary. I'm, I'm with General Keene. Here you have a president going to a historic meeting with over 20 Arab leaders, but the story is no sources, no names in either the New York Times or the Washington Post, none. And yet these are, quote, bombshells. No, they're not. They're just more of the left wing hatred for Trump. Trump was clear on CBS News. He told Lester Holt he wanted to fire Comey. He thinks Comey was irresponsible. You know, now you have a leak that says, gosh, Trump actually meant what he said on CBS. This stuff is just, all of this is done by the left. And there's a Harvard study out that shows there is more media hostility to Donald Trump than any president in modern American history. Tonight's another example. They could have said, president leaves on a historic trip to bring together the Arab world to fight terrorism. President leaves on a historic trip to go to Israel and meet with both Palestinians and Jewish leaders. President goes on a historic trip to meet the Pope. Oh, no. They come up with garbage in order to smear the president as he leaves the country. I think it's disgusting, and I'm really sad that the Washington Post and the New York Times have ceased to be newspapers and purely become left-wing propaganda instruments.